Alright, what's up, Amayan? And today I will show you how to sideload any apps on any iPhone without jailbreaking. So, first step is to go to the Alt Store. This is the method for sideloading without jailbreaking. So, I will provide this link in the description. First of all, we need to download the Alt Server for Windows or Mac OS. So, Alt Store requires a computer all times and iPhone, of course. So, as I am using a Windows, so I'm gonna be downloading Alt Server for Windows. If you're using Mac OS, download the macOS version so let's save it right here and now you can see the alt server is now downloading now let's follow the step by step install guide these instructions are very useful so if you are download using alt server on your macOS simply open the get started macOS docs if you're using windows like me as I am using windows right now so we're gonna be opening this link in the new tab Let's wait for it to load up. Man, my internet is slow today. Okay, now as you can see, this step-by-step -step guide is now open and also we need to download iTunes and iCloud. Not from Microsoft Store, but the links that are provided in your description of this video. So I'm gonna download the 64-bit version because I am using Windows 64-bit. Now let's right click and as you can see, the iTunes have been downloaded. Now we also need to download the iCloud. So this link will also be given in the description. You can download directly from there and follow this video for step by step instructions. As now this three step is being downloaded. Let's wait for it to finish the downloading and then we'll come right back here. Well, if you manage to download iTunes and iCloud from Microsoft Store, there is a troubleshoot guide as well. So, the first step is to download the stuff that I have already downloaded, extract it, and this is all the settings that, uh, I mean, all the things that we are going to follow and do in this video. You can also follow this guide. Links will be given in the description. But if you want to be more careful and watch this video instead, good luck with that. And also, your Apple ID and passwords are safe. Okay, what if your alt store is not shown? Simply just restart your iPhone, then alt store will be shown in the apps section. This is also if you wanna turn it on. These are all the things that you'll do. Also, we need to develop uh, enable developer mode if you are using the latest version of iOS. So let's finish the downloading and we'll be right back. Okay, now let's open the downloads. They have completed. And let's start by installing iCloud. Also, I need to discuss an issue here. If you open iCloud and it says your Windows Media features are missing, then there are two steps to fix this issue. If you are using an N version of Windows, and I repeat, N version of Windows, simply just finish it and go to your browser and search for Windows Media Features and there you will see the first official Microsoft link of downloading Windows Media 10 features and Windows 10 Media Features but these features are only available for Windows N editions but we're still gonna download it anyways just to be on the safe side so let's select the edition I'm gonna be selecting the latest version this guide is only for those who are using N versions of Windows. Let me show you again. If you download this for simple Windows or download this for Windows Pro, there is nothing available for Windows Pro because the media features are already encoded in the Pro version. These media features are only available for Windows 10 N editions. Let's still download it anyways to show you guys how this is done. So. I'm here, I'm gonna select the media feature pack version latest that is available and wait for it and I'm gonna, is, I am using a 64-bit version so I'm gonna be downloading the 64-bit version of this pack. So let's just wait for it to finish the downloading and we'll be right back. 
Okay, now as you can see, it is now downloaded. Let me show you how you can install it. If I open this up here, this will give me an error. As you can see, it is giving me an error because I am not using a Windows N version. I am using Windows 10 Pro. So let's go to your settings. If you have this error in any other windows, just open it. Go to system and optional features. There you need to select an add and feature. And search here for Windows Media Player. And install it. Windows Media Player Legacy app includes everything that is uh, that is uh, I mean related to Windows Media Player and will help you install iCloud and iTunes on your Windows device. This should not be an issue on your Mac OS, but if you're using Windows like me, and if you are using Windows 10 N version or somewhat modified version of Windows, this error will be very will prove to be a headache for you. But let's wait for it to finish the installing and then let me show you how this works. If you get any, just to be on the safe side, we need to search media again. Now, as you can see, nothing is showing up. Let's try Windows Media. There is nothing else showing, which means I have everything Windows Media Player related stuff being installed right here. The installation is almost complete. If you do not get this Windows Media feature missing error, then you can simply go ahead and skip this step and download the and install iCloud and iTunes. And now as you can see, I have successfully installed Windows Media Player features. And now I can check for updates, but this will not work because I am not using a Windows N version. So let's start installing iCloud. Now, as you can see, it is not giving me any error and just giving me an agreement. So I accept it and let's install iCloud for Windows. This is going to take some time because it always does, man. But still, we are going to wait for it to finish the installation. All right, so the iCloud is installed. Let's finish. And we need to restart our system or computer. But we're not gonna restarting right now because I need to install iTunes as well. So let's install iTunes. If you get anything prompts, just say yes and select run. As I am getting this prompt, I'm gonna go run. Let's go next. And we need to install and almost check everything. Let's install it as default. Now let's just wait for it to finish the installation and we'll do what needs to be done. Wait.
okay now itunes is successfully installed let's just untick the opens and finish it now all i need to do is to restart my pc and then i will be coming back for you guys okay now i have restarted my pc or laptop whatever you want to call it now let's head to your downloads section now both of those itunes and iclouds is installed including the media feature pack now let's extract the alt server okay alt installer is extracted let's open the setup and install this as well i'm gonna go select everyone here all right so our server is now installed if you get any errors simply just repair it by using again and also i recommend that you restart your pc now let me show you where it is located in your start menu you can see our server here okay now i have restarted my system now let's open our server again now here is our server located right click on it and go into more and run as administrator if you get any prompt just say yes to it and if you want to know if it is running or not simply go here and as you can see here our server is now running but we do not get to install it right now we need to open itunes first let's go into itunes and more run as administrator if you get any prompts just say yes to it and we are here in itunes working on here now i have collected connected my iphone if you get any prompts on your iPhone simply just trust your trust if you get any problem just go with trust now it is connected now I'm gonna sign in my Apple ID yeah safety is important for me let's sign here if you you need to enter six digit code that is sent to your Apple ID your iPhone maybe now here I am entering this six digits and we need to go continue it okay so now it is completed it is just accessing my itunes store connecting or accessing i don't know what either of these mean because that's the same to me right now okay now it is clear now let's go to your itunes store and here you can see your iphone is here simply open it this will give you everything every information on your iphone and we need to sync with this iphone over wi-fi as well simply check this box and hit apply we do not need to change anything here once you've done that you get the sync option just click sync and your iphone is being synced with this itunes store let's wait for it to complete the synchronization process and then we'll be back okay now so as you can see the synchronization process is now completed over wi-fi now i can install apps on the go when my pc is com connected with the same network that the, my iphone is connected with but i will not recommend you do that so let's install all store here now we need to enter apple id and my password this is how you install all store on your iphone or ipad running ios works on all ios devices let me enter the username and password right here and now i am gonna hit install button right next to cancel button let's install it wait for it a few minutes and let's head over to our iphone now okay now as you can see i am on my iphone and all store has been appeared on the app list but it is not working right now if you get an issue it is not appearing simply restart your system i mean your iphone now in case to let it work we need to open the settings come here in general and also i'm going to need to go 
all the way down and select for device management option there might be something else written there but vpn and device management is it so i'm gonna select my apple id let's trust here this is giving everything now it is now verified and my apple id is now connected with my all store account so what we're we gonna do next in order to install apps we need to turn on developer options if you're using the latest version of ios as i am using right now so let's go to our settings again go all the way down to privacy and security all the way down to developer mode and simply turn on developer mode and restart your iphone and let me restart my iphone and then i'll be back okay now i have restarted my iphone now if you wanna know how to install it let's be sure let's see if the developer options are not okay the developer mode is now on now we need to go into all store and allow it to do everything now in the new section as you can see all store is now working on my iphone these are the new section you can get your apps that are officially available by all store download right here there is some minor issues with it these are the apps that are officially supported and you can simply download ipa files from the internet and install using this all store method if you were going to refresh your all store we need to enter apple id and password again i have entered it and skipped the part let's got it if you want to refresh your apps again every seven days these are the expiry dates as well you need to be connected on the same network as your computer where your all servers is installed and itunes as well or you can need to connect to your windows uh, where your itunes is installed if you want to know how to install apps simply go plus and select the ip file and if you get any app extensions simply add extensions as well you need to connect to your windows pc i am saying again and again all every seven days just to refresh those apps because that's how ios works here okay select the plus option right left and your app is now installing let's wait for it to finish the installation this is going to take some time and i want to say again if you get any app extensions you need to add app extensions you do not need to remove it if you remove the app extensions the app will simply not work now as you can see here the app is now successfully installed yep i have installed something illegal as you can see let's open it and show it is working or not there is something else if you get any update simply download the latest version of that ipa file and do this step all over again anyway that's been it thanks for watching